okay. No matter what we think about the Mortal Kombat trailer, that was not the trailer that won it for us this past week. Because um, there's a lot of us, myself included, that I feel like we kind of owe Cruella an apology. Because, holy crap, guys, that trailer for Cruella kicked all kinds of butt. Like, Emma Stone is one of the best actresses working today. Uh, when we, when Josh and I, way, 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 way back, did our favorite actors and actresses list, I believe we talked about her. But she's bringing 110% in this. Like, as soon as the trailer starts, I initially just like, is this just me or is her accent really good? Like, normally yeah. us Americans are terrible with accents, but hers was really good. But I was almost sold like 30 seconds in when she lets out her first evil villain laugh. That moment, I was like, that's not Emma Stone. That's Cruella DeVille. That laugh is perfect. And then she shows up to the ball, which I completely forgot Mark Strong was even in this. Like, I got all excited seeing Mark Strong. I was like, no matter what, there's at least one actor that's going to be good in this. Because Mark Strong is like the beacon of light in terrible movies. I'm not saying this will be terrible, but... No matter what, Mark Strong always brings his A-game. We see him in the trailer, then you see this woman in um, yeah, in this white dress. I had to double-check real quick. And then she sets it on fire, and now she's in this red dress. And you're like, okay, you stole that from Hunger Games, but that's not the only thing this trailer kind of steals. It looks like Disney's Joker. That being said, it does it so well, and I went from a movie that I had zero interest in to, I actually really want to see this now. Yeah, it, well, it looks like they're actually leaning into the character, not trying to make them redeemable, like Maleficent, you know? Yeah. Uh, like Because it, it, that movie certainly could have been a lot more. Uh, mm. And this looks like, well, paying homage to the character, and you know, it's a mystery. It remains a mystery why some of us really enjoy the villains. But, my goodness, like, I mean, this is also going out on a limb for Disney, especially after seeing they, they got they, they got their feedback on Maleficent that, that was at least the first one of financial success. And they were like, well, let's cast another great, talented actress, and now let's actually lean into it and because they're confident they have a market for it. And I'm telling you, seriously, this is going to be good. I, I don't think this is something where it's going to – we're going to sue for false advertising. I think this is going to – there, there's something different about it, and – yeah, this is this is aren't these the best parts about being in this particular like industry and 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 having a fascination with with movies and enjoying every step along the way is that you get these gems which you know for us who follow these a little bit more closely it, it almost is even more rewarding because we're like wait a minute we have reason to doubt this and then oh my gosh look at this I mean this when I saw this this past week I was like okay I'm gonna go see that I wasn't gonna go see it. The marketing team did their job. (laughs) Yeah, like, you know you've done a good trailer, or or at least it's a project that you made me interested in, if I watch it immediately again after I just finished it. And that's exactly what I did with Cruella. And I was, like, waiting for Heather to get home to show her. I was like, this actually looks good. And I come back to, Emma Stone's accent sounds so good. It doesn't sound like her. It sounds just Cruella. And then as as the trailer progresses, you can see her going more and more evil to the point of just, like, You see the building on fire like, oh, dude, this is going to get dark. My main question is, how are you going to do this narrative about a woman who kills puppies for coats? Like, there's no way you can make her a redeemable character um, or get us have sympathy for this. How do you do this? I did get some Joker vibes from this for sure, Um, but I don't necessarily think that was the worst thing, but... But yeah, I this has to be one of the most surprising trailers I've seen in a very long time. Now, there's obviously going to be some people poo-pooing the idea out there, just going, this should never have been remade. Disney's creatively bankrupt, which you're right, and they need to stop remaking things until they remake Treasure Planet in live-action form. Then they may oh. proceed. Um, but this, oh, I was like, boy. yeah, I'm down for this. I was so anti this movie, but this, this trailer single-handedly won me over, which is a huge huge testament how good that trailer was because i was so against this for so long yeah like that's that's such a good point and i'm i'm glad that a lot of us are still able to at least admit that like hey yeah, you know i not that i was wrong but it's like listen i i doubted this maybe for good reasons but i'm willing to have my mind be changed and i'm willing to 
to amend my opinions based on what I'm presented with. And given that this is what we have to react with, I mean, this is, for me, this is a must. And when does this come out? You said May? Is that is that when this is coming out? Yes. And I okay. believe it's a yep. Disney Plus movie. Oh, oh, is it really? Yes. Wow. They're now really that's... they're really getting serious about we need to put stuff on Disney Plus. Uh, well, for sure. I mean, uh, for obvious reasons. But wow, I, I didn't think so. We won't even have the option to see this in theaters. I don't believe so. Wow, the, that that's e- that's even more interesting. Okay. There's a couple of the live action ones that are coming. Um, this and I feel like there's two others that Disney announced that they're solely going to be on Disney Plus, which I think is a good move. As much as I want to see things in theaters, Disney Plus needs more original movies and shows. They can't just keep drip feeding us WandaVision one week at a time. As great That's as that true. is, you can't have one new show every week. You need to have more content than that. Like mm-hmm. Netflix is your chief rival. They they're more quantity over quality, I'll give you that, but you do need to catch up with them in terms of quantity of new programming soon. Like, mm-hmm. I love Disney's library. I love how extensive it is, even if it's missing some stuff. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Um, but they do need some new content. And we've, we've got WandaVision. We've got Falcon Winter Soldier. So I think this was a smart move to put this on a streamer. And hopefully that means we get some good original movies because so far they've been kind of hit or miss on Disney+. Plus. We didn't start off on the right foot with Noel. Mm-hmm. No, uh, that's, that's, a very, <laughs> that's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs>